Hello guys. Today we'll be covering a 2019 French thriller film called The Translators. All the relevant links and information for the film will be in the pinned comment below. As the movie begins, publisher Eric Armstrong announces the launch of the last part of a best-selling novel series called The Daedalus Trilogy. He also announces that it's going to be translated soon. Writers from different parts of the world have been called to France for their translation. Eric also informs that the writers have all been asked to work in a secret mansion where, under contract, they can neither use their phones nor anything else that will allow the story of that book to be revealed to the outside world. The idea is to keep the book a secret so that the story doesn't get leaked before it gets published. All the translators are taken to the basement of a huge mansion where they seize all their electronic devices. Inside the mansion, the translators are taken down into a basement bunker built by a Russian billionaire. We see that the bunker has been equipped with lavish working conditions and a rich lifestyle. Everything except the internet is available in that bunker, so that they could carry out their work and also spend their time with pleasure. Soon, Eric comes to meet them and says that in a month, they'll have to translate 480 pages in total, and every day he'll give them 20 pages. Every evening, Eric will collect those 20 pages, and the next morning he'd return with 20 new pages for them. He also informs them that after one month, they'll spend the next month doing necessary corrections and translations. Eric also informs them that they're not even allowed to take the papers and their work laptop outside of the library. Next, we're taken two months into the future. Eric is seen inside a jail under police custody talking to an unknown person. It's revealed that someone stole the original manuscript of the final book of the Daedalus trilogy and leaked the first 10 pages on the internet. However, Eric has no idea who did this and thinks it must be one of the nine translators. To solve the mystery, Eric wishes to understand everything that happened inside the mansion in the past two months. Next, in a flashback scene, we see the translators sitting inside the workroom doing their assigned tasks. Among them is a young English translator named Alex Goodman, who seems a little careless at his job. Alex is often seen taking naps during working hours. At dinner, all of them sit together and discuss the upcoming plot of the novel. All those translators have completely different thinking from each other, and everyone wants to know the end of the book. Some of them are happy with the translator's job, but some believe that this is not literature, but a way to earn money. But Katerina Ansimova, the Russian translator, considers this translation job a work of art and honor. Along with being lost in the story, she wants to be like the character of the story, Rebecca. One evening, Eric comes to pick up the translated pages as usual. He points out Dario Ferrelli, the Italian translator, about his tweet wishing to meet the author of the Daedalus series, Oscar Brack. However, Eric doesn't want any kind of speculation going around on the internet, so he orders Dario to delete his tweet. Eric then reveals that the author Oscar wants nothing to do with these translators, and as mentioned in their contract, Oscar's identity will remain a secret no matter what. In fact, no one knows who Oscar really is. Later that day, Katerina sneaks into Eric's office and finds his briefcase containing the original manuscript of the novel. Moments later, Eric comes back into his office and Katerina sits back on the couch. He then informs Katerina about the premiere event of the final novel of the series that will be held in Paris. In the next scene, we see Eric arriving outside a house in Normandy, France. Inside, we see an old literary writer named George who used to be Eric's teacher. George runs a small bookstore, but in reality, George is the writer of the famous Daedalus novel series. He uses the alias Oscar Brack instead of his real name, and nobody in the outside world knows his secret, except for Eric. Meanwhile, in the present, we see Eric continuously interrogating the unknown person in the jail to understand the reason behind the manuscript theft. Back in the mansion, the group is seen having a good time, celebrating Christmas and singing together. After a while, Eric receives a message in which a stranger has written that he has the first 10 pages of the last book with him and that Eric will have to pay 5 million euros to save it from being leaked. At the end of the message, the stranger even writes the same song that the translator is singing on Christmas night. Eric suspects that this message is sent to him by one of those translators. He then starts investigating the translators. Eric even suspends their work for an indefinite period until the guilty party is found. However, Eric's methods of investigation of this matter are not practical and are too harsh on the translators as they're treated badly. The guards employed by Eric start invading their privacy and start searching the translators' rooms without their permission. In the next scene, Helene Tuxen, who came from Denmark, is made to realize that she could never write her own book and her work is burnt right in front of her. Later, all the translators gather in the living room to identify the thief among them. They even become aggressive and start suspecting each other. Katerina suspects Alex of the theft. Earlier, 
Alex lied to Katerina about being the only English translator of the first book. Then Alex finally tells the truth that he's a fan who illegally translated the book which became more popular than the original. Alex's only motive behind this was to meet the author, Oscar. In a flashback, Eric comes to meet Alex in prison after his arrest. Alex says he's the only one capable of translating Oscar's books and asks Eric to officially hire him. To prove his worth, Alex writes the first sentences of the final book in the Deadless trilogy. By writing those sentences, he impresses Eric and proves that he's a big Oscar fan and he knows what Oscar is going to write. Eventually, Alex is officially hired by Eric for the translation job. After knowing all this, Katerina reveals to Alex that she'd found the manuscript once. She was about to steal it because she desperately wants to know how the book really ends. Next, Rosemarie, who works for Eric, goes to search Alex's house in London but finds nothing. The next day, Eric keeps all the translators standing in front of him without clothes for hours, hoping the culprit will confess. At the same time, he gets another message from the hacker informing him that he's leaked 100 more pages. It's now confirmed that the hacker is not one of those translators. But suddenly, Eric starts suspecting Katerina, causing everyone to go against her. Moments later, Dario Ferrelli, the Italian translator, loses his control and tries to hurt Katerina. Not only this, Eric makes their life worse when he takes away not only water and food, but also electricity from them. In the next scene, we once again see Eric in the present time interrogating the culprit. As it turns out, the hacker is none other than Alex. Alex then reveals the motive behind his theft is to meet Oscar Brack. Eric is seen meeting George, otherwise known as Oscar Brack, to discuss the release of the last book in the Daedalus series. However, George wants to break all ties with Eric and his company, because when Eric first came to George, his company gave his book the respect it deserved, and not just a way to make money. But now, everything is done for profit, and a great book like Daedalus is not getting the respect it deserves. George is not at all happy that Eric wants to keep those translators like sheep in a room just for the money. George then decides to break all ties with Eric and talk with another publisher to release his book. After a few days without electricity and water in that bunker, Katerina starts to figure out that the hacker is none other than Alex. Alex then explains to Katerina that he did all of this just to meet Oscar. But it's only a half-truth because there's something Alex didn't tell anyone. In the present, back at the prison, Alex decides to tell everything to Eric. He confesses to Eric that he stole the manuscript, not in the bunker, but several days before he came to the bunker. He used to keep an eye on Eric every day. He also reveals that he was helped by other translators as well, Ingrid, Chen Yao, Javier and Telma. Together, they stole Eric's briefcase and made a copy of that manuscript, after which they were able to change Eric's briefcase again by overcoming many obstacles. Alex tells him his entire plan, but he did not reveal the names of the people who helped him. However, Eric is recording their entire conversation together with the police officers, but Alex is unaware of this. In another flashback scene, Alex and his group are seen celebrating in a hotel room after they successfully steal the manuscript from Eric's briefcase. His plan was right on track, but he did not know that Helene, who was not happy with her life like that, would end her life. Even her death was kept hidden from the world. Later, out of fear, Javier becomes nervous thinking Eric knows about their manuscript theft. He even thinks of confessing to Eric, but Chen threatens and silences him. After some time, Eric receives another message in which the hacker asks for 80 million euros and he angrily threatens to kill everyone. To save the others, Alex confesses that he is the hacker, after which Eric starts beating him badly. All the other translators then make a plan to fight Eric to save Alex. Eric cannot understand their language at first, but when he finally understands some of their words, he shoots Katerina. Eric turns violent and wants to know where Alec hid that manuscript. Alex has no choice but to tell the truth to save Katerina. He tells Eric the address of his house where he had kept the manuscript, but Alex knew from the beginning that his house would be raided by Rosemarie, so he carefully plots to make Rosemarie realize how badly she's treated by Eric. Finally, fed up with Eric's bullishness, Rose leaves Alex's place. Now, Eric has no other way but to pay the money. For that, he sells all his shares and transfers that money to Alex's account. After transferring the money, Eric receives another message in which it's written that Alex does not care about money and he just wants to talk to Oscar. This makes Eric extremely angry and he shoots Alex too. Next, we see that Alex is shot, but a book saves his life. Katerina's life is also saved as she reaches the hospital before it got worse. At the hospital, Alex reads the end of the book to Katerina while she's unconscious. That same day, Alex goes to see Eric again. Eric wants to know what he did with the 80 million euros Alex stole from him. Alex responds by saying that money doesn't matter to him. 
However, Eric still doesn't understand how Alex wrote the first sentence of the last book if he had not stolen the manuscript by that time. To answer his question, Alex calls Eric over to him and presses the mic on his body so that the police won't hear anything. In a surprising turn of events, Alex reveals that he knows the sentence because he's the one who wrote the book, not George. In another flashback, we see that Alex used to go to George's bookstore ever since he was a kid and George had given him a job. He'd written a book called Daedalus for George, but he did not want to publish that book. George liked the book very much and believed that it was very important to reach good books to the people. That's why he wanted to get Alex's book published. However, Alex put a condition that if George really wanted to publish it, he would have to author the book himself. That's why George gave the book under the name Oscar Brack to be published in Eric's company. But when Alex finds out that Eric respects neither the writers nor their art and he's about to keep the translators in a bunker, he decides to teach Eric a lesson. Alex is not pleased with the fact that Eric describes his work as his own. After telling all of this, he also tells Eric that he's never stolen the briefcase from Eric because the original manuscript was always with Alex. He also reveals that he put 80 million euros again in Eric's account so that when the police check the account, they'll think that the hacker was Eric himself and he did all this for money. Alex then removes his hand from the mic on Eric's body. Eric says that Alex cannot be Oscar because he'd killed the real Oscar, aka George, with his hands. That day, when George refused to work with Eric, in anger, he killed George and ran away with the manuscript. Not only this, but he also burnt down George's entire shop. Alex wants Eric to confess the truth as that was his motive all along. In the end, Alex avenges the death of his closest friend George by getting Eric punished for his actions. He also successfully keeps Oscar's true identity hidden from the world. The movie ends.